Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at the Windows 11 tool you need. Now, if you use Windows 11 or you're tempted to use Windows 11, but you hate the start menu or the right click context menu or some other little features that really annoy you like the taskbar, I'm going to show you how we can sort this out and fix it in this video for free. And we're going to be able to use Windows 11 the way we want to use it. Now, Windows 11 is not as bad as everyone makes out. It's just got a, a few little quirks that people don't like, but it is a pretty solid operating system at protecting you online. So the first tool we're going to use is called Open Shell. Now, quite a lot of people have recommended Open Shell in the past, and it's a bit quirky. It works for some uh, versions of Windows and it doesn't work for others. And that's why you always need to use the pre-release. If you try to use the latest version, you're probably going to find it doesn't work on the very latest versions of Windows. And that's because I have to keep upgrading the uh, code on it to make it work because Windows or Microsoft keep changing it to make it break and because they don't want you messing with it. So we're going to use the pre-release version and hopefully this will work OK. Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to have any bugs or anything like that, but during my process of using it, it seemed to work OK. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the system. And we're going to go ahead and uh, configure it to make it look somewhat better than what we have with Windows 11's offerings. Now, a lot of people always sit on the fence when it comes to Windows 11. Some people just hate it. And I think the people that hate it are the people that have just never used it or they've just never really sort of installed it. And they've got used to Windows 10 so much that they just don't want to change. But this is what a classic shell looks like. And it looks OK. It's not too bad. It's not the best looking uh, menu system out there. There is ones that you can pay for for about five bucks. And again, once you get that installed, it's fully updated and it's fully maintained on a regular basis. But this you can customize it the way you like, and it is totally free and you don't have to pay for it. Now, Open Shell was based off of Classic Shell, which stopped working and stopped uh, having support done to it a long time ago. So someone's took it over and now they call it Open Shell Menu. And you can see here we can configure it the way we want to. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one of these settings because obviously this is up to the individual user. Everyone's going to have their own requirements that they like, and you can set this up to your own needs. Some people like certain features enabled. Some people will have them disabled. So you can go through these menus and check mark what you like and uh, basically get it the way you like it. But what you need to do with uh, Open Shell is you need to make sure that you get all of the colors working right and uh, we want to get that classic menu, uh, right click context menu working. And we also want to get the color with the uh, taskbar there matching the actual uh, menu system. Now, of course, with this uh, version, it is free and you can disable some of the other features like uh, search box and things like that if you wish. And you can go through here and change colors and things like that. So let's go ahead and get this uh, customized the way we want. So why would you need to install Open Shell Menu? Well, if you're not liking the Start Menu and you just can't get on with it and you want to change everything, then you're going to need something like Open Shell Menu or Start All Back or Start 11 or one of these programs to change the menu system to something that you're more familiar with. You've got the Start Menu style. You can change this and then you can change the actual skin to uh, something more appealing to yourself. So you can even change the start button if you want to. And there's plenty of other options available inside this software. But this is what we've got right now. And uh, you can make it larger as well if you wish. I prefer the smaller menus. I don't like those big, you know, menus like we have with Windows 11. Now I'm going to download Explorer Patcher. And this is a pre-release as well. And I'm going to get this installed on the system. And once we get this installed on the system, it's going to take care of a few features on the taskbar for us and then you can even have your taskbar on the left hand side on the right or even up the top if you want with this uh, explorer patcher so it's entirely up to you whether you want to use these again you might get flagged or warned by your antivirus to say these are not safe again these are totally safe programs to use it's the nature of the program and of course it's what we call a false positive but if you don't want to use it and you don't trust it then don't touch don't download it and don't install it. But if you're okay with that, we're going to go ahead and get this configured. So here we see Explorer Patcher here. I'm just going to drag things into this area here because it makes it very easy to find stuff. And here we have the Explorer Patcher. 
So from here, you can actually change the start menu and put it back to Windows 10 if you wish using this program. But we're going to be using the classic shell here. And I'm just going to basically change a bunch of settings inside here to get it looking somewhat a little bit more usable compared to what we have. You've got the little restart file explorer down here, which makes it quick and easy to uh, make these settings changed. And if I go full screen here, you'll be able to see that the taskbar has actually changed here and we've changed the color. Now, if you want to change the color, you can do to match the actual menu system. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. You can spend more time trying to get that color match exactly perfect if you wish. I'm just showing you exactly roughly what I've done here so you can work it out for yourself. Again, if you go into the actual open shell here and go into the start menu settings and taskbar settings, you'll see there is a transparent or opaque or glass. You can have this set to how you like, and then you can change the color to your requirements to match maybe your start menu. And of course, you can use whatever colors you like. You've got your basic colors there, and you've also got your color palette on the right where you can move it around and change your colors. And this is for your uh, taskbar here. And also you can change your menu colors as well and get it matching the way you like. So what is the downfall side of OpenShell? Well, uh, a lot of people have used this and then all of a sudden Windows brings an update out and it just doesn't work anymore. And you just have to wait until the person who has made this and continued the support for it uh, fixes it and uh, re-releases a new version for it. Now, this can take a bit of time. I've seen this uh, stop working after updates. Uh, with, say, start all back and uh, start 11, those are very much updated all the time and they are fixed very, very quickly. But they're five bucks to, to download and pay for. But again, if you don't want to pay for anything, this is completely free. So you have to work out what's more important here. If you need a menu system uh, to work all the time, then maybe go for one of the paid options. Uh, but this one seems to be working perfectly fine on the very latest version of Windows. You can see this is the 23 H H2 version. And I had to use uh, the pre-release version to get this working okay. And they seem to be up to date on, on this pretty quickly. So uh, bear that in mind, uh, just give them a bit of time to fix if it stops working. Uh, and that's all I can say. So other than that, you're going to need a bunch of different little things in here to get the right-click context menu working. And you can turn off a bunch of features that you don't want, like the weather and stuff like that, because obviously having that menu system down there, you have to turn the weather off because otherwise it won't work correctly. And if you want the taskbar on the left or the top, you can do. But again, you will need to use the Explorer Patcher to turn those other features off so you can actually have it on the left or up the top. And it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So that said, that is the open shell. If you're looking for something to change the menu system on Windows 11 to make it more usable, in my opinion, then you can use the free options, but there is some paid options out there as well. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. That's basically how you can use it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.